I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Leo, the recent past energy between you and your person well, we got this Ten of Wands, and it's with the Queen, it's with the King of Swords. The King of Swords, that's the card that's below the word pass. The Ten of Wands, the card above the word pass, is about hardship. It's about difficulty. So, for some of you Leos, you felt like the relationship became very difficult. It could have felt like you had a heavy load on your shoulders. Or the connection just started to feel like it was a burden. Or dealing with this person was very difficult. And you felt like... You started to be or you started to act like the King of Swords. King of Swords is a mean, a very mean type of person. This person brought out the worst in you. Yeah, the connection started to bring out a dark side that you knew you had, but you, you don't like to pull it out. Yeah. The King of Swords um, will mistreat people. The King of Swords will overstep their bounds. The King of Swords uh, will mistreat someone. <laughs> the King of Swords doesn't really need a sword because the King of Swords can actually cut you with their words. Very forceful type of energy. So, so your person, they pushed you to the max. They pushed you to the, to your limit. And it made you very nasty towards them, towards the connection. Yeah. So that's a recent past energy. For some of you for some of you Leos. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the world card in the two of cups. Now, this world card can be about closure, completion, ending a journey, having a cycle be over. Closing out a chapter. Yeah. Now, it's interesting because the Two of Cups can be about the ideal partner, the perfect mate. It can be about a union, a harmony, a deep connection. So, for some of you, you got someone coming towards you like this. The perfect mate, and you probably already know this person. You could be going towards, yeah, someone that you feel is better for you. Uh, someone that you're more serious about or someone that you feel is really serious about you. This could be someone new or someone that you already know. Or someone that's coming towards you. Some great connection here. And it, this connection... Um, can lead to um, something com committed because of the Two of Cups it can be about marriage, proposal, engagement but the World card is here so this is telling me that you could be ready to close out a chapter with this person who pushes you to, to, to they push you to the limit you're ready to you realize it's time to close that chapter out and go towards 
a much more loving situation. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got we have two aces here, ace of pentacles, and so the ace of cups. Whenever you hear the word ace in the tarot, that's an indicator of new beginnings. So you got two new beginnings here. Both of them are good. Ace of Pentacles can be about someone offering you a new beginning. Some new beginning is trying to happen. It could be with this Two of Cups. You're ready to go for it. And whoever this is you're going towards or them coming towards you, wanting a new beginning with you, you feel the same way. The Ace of Cups is the card below the word challenge. It's a new beginning, but it's with matters of the heart. So you're feeling a, a, a very loving connection is coming in. And it's going to make you feel like this is the person that you should be with. And it's going to bring about several new beginnings on several levels. It's going to feel like a brand new day as dawn. Beautiful. So the outcome, Ten of Swords, and it's with the High Priestess. Now, the Ten of Swords, the card above the word outcome, that can be about betrayal, feeling like you've been stabbed in the back. So, It's with the high priestess. So the high priestess will go quiet and silent on you. Just won't say a word. High priestess will sit pretty and just won't say anything. So what I'm getting for you, Leo, is this. We're dealing with a couple. We're dealing with two people here. Could be more for some of you. But I'm getting two people. This recent past person, this Ten of Wands person, which by the way, um, this difficult connection that we just talked about, this person that made you, f that um, pulled out your, your worst side, um, you could have been dealing with the Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius, for some of you. Yeah, they made you become really nasty but you got something good coming in and what the outcome with the ten of swords here this person who brought out the worst in you they're starting to feel betrayed they could have maybe or they will be reaching out to you and you you'll be like the high priestess You'll be sitting pretty and won't have a word to say. They can't touch you now. You're on a you're on a new plane. You're on a, a higher level as the high priestess. You got a lot of good stuff coming in here. You got two aces. You got the if it's not an ideal person or ideal connection coming up with the two of cups, it could be some really, really good opportunity. And it's going to bring about a lot of great new big, a lot of great new beginnings here. And you're closing out chapters. You could be you closing out a cycle with this person who who likes to rub you the wrong way. And the outcome is showing that they feel betrayed by you. If you can believe that, they feel like you just stab them in the back. Because you don't have anything to say to them now. The high priestess will go silent. And just sit really pretty. So that is the reading that I have for you, Leo. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading. 
where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Leo, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe and being strong. Take good care. I hope you guys come back and join me for the next Leo reading, which will be in about another four or five days, just in case this one did not resonate. Maybe the next one will. Also, keep in mind, the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not um, personal readings. So Leo, I can never say it enough. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.